Hello children, how are you all? Hope you all are doing great and uh, you are safe too. Children, I am Shilpa, the class teacher of grade 2 and I am going to teach you science. Children, today we are going to do the textbook exercise of types of plants. Okay? Children, this is the first page of types of plants, page number 7. Here they have given an activity that is collect fallen leaves of any three plants and dry them in fold of newspaper. Children, for now you can collect some fallen leaves. Don't pluck the leaves. Some fallen leaves you can collect it and keep it with you. When the school will reopen, we will do it in our class. Okay? Now next page. Here, down below. They have given a question that is stick the correct statement and cross the wrong one. Means if the statement is correct, then you have to tick it. If it is wrong, you have to cross it. Okay. Let's see. Number one, shrubs live for many years. Shrubs, shrubs means a bushy plant with woody stems. Okay. It live for many years? No, it live for few years. Now this statement is right or wrong? Yes, it is wrong. Now the next one, number two, herbs are big plants. Herbs are big plants? No, herbs are small plants, right? So this statement is wrong. And number three, people and coconut are examples of trees. People and coconut are example of trees. Is it right? Yes, right. So you have to take it. Okay. Children, here in page number 10, they have given an activity that is write down names of two plants each that you see in your school or around your house in the column given below means you have to write any two names of trees two names of shrubs two names of herbs let's see here trees n double e m name m a n g o mango name mango next shrubs r o s e r o c o double t o n cotton herbs T U L S I Tulsi M I N T Mint. And you can write on your own also. Down below, here you can see let's memorize means you have to learn all these things. This is very important. Okay, learn about tree, shrub, root, stem, leaf. Okay, don't forget it. Hmm? Okay, let's do do the exercise. Okay. Uh, first one, tick the correct answer. Number one, means tick the correct answer means they have given three options A, B and C. You have to choose the correct answer and tick it. It is already done here. Still, you have to do by yourself. Okay. Number one, which of the following is a herb? Option A, banyan. Option B, coconut. Option C, mint herb so banyan is a tree right coconut is a tree and mint is a herb very good so option c next number two plants are generally means uh, plants are generally in which color means red blue green black white which color you know plants are which color right option a black option b red option c green yes it is option C, green. Next, number three, seeds are present in. Means, where does we find seeds, right? Uh, means, uh, where we find seeds? Which part contains seeds? Option A, roots. Option B, leaves. Option C, fruits. So, where is it? Yes, it is fruits. Some fruit have one seed, some fruit have many seeds, some fruit have few seeds, right? 
so seeds are present in fruits that is option c okay now here next one fill in the blanks with correct words they have given the options here they have given some words help box in this help box you have to choose the correct answer and then fill it up okay let's start number one a tree has thick hard and woody stem called what is it called yes i know it is already written it is called t r u n k trunk okay next number two dash have many branches rising from the ground many branches means bushy plant what is it yes it is shrubs s h r u b s shrubs now here children you have to write s in capital because the blank is in the beginning right so starting letter should be capital s h r u b s shrubs okay next number 3 dash leaves leave only for a few months few months what is it yes herbs again you have to write in capital h e r b s herbs okay next number 4 dash r call the kitchen of a plant yes you know right that is l again you have to write in capital l e a v e s leaves now dash r r means more than one right that's why you have to write leaves if dash i s e is dash e is is there then you will write l e a f leaf means only one okay next number 5 dash absorb water and minerals from the soil what is it yes roots again you have to write capital r double o t s roots why we are writing capital because the blank is in the beginning right so starting letter should be in capital okay now next now here children page number 12 answer the following question number 1 which part of a plant has seeds inside it you have to write the name of a part capital letter f r u i t fruit then you have to add has seeds inside it full stop fruit has seeds inside it question number 2 write two examples each of climbers and creepers you have to give two example for climbers and creepers first one is g r a p e v i n e grape vine second one is m o n e y p l a n t money plant next creepers p u m p k i n pumpkin w a t e r m e l o n water melon okay question number 3 name the things required by plants to make food so you have to write three things required by plants plants need a i r a w a t r water and s u n l i g h t sunlight okay plants need air water and sunlight now match the following you have to match the pictures with the option read it and match number 1 flower flower option b produces fruits number 2 leaf where's the answer yes it's d makes food number 3 fruit fruit contains seeds yes so e has seeds inside it now number 4 seeds yes a option grows into a new plant next number 5 roots yes it is c observe water and minerals okay now next now here this is the last page and the last exercise of this lesson page number 13 now here we can see children write h for herb s for shrub t for tree in the boxes provided if it is herb you will write capital h if it is shrub you will write capital s if it is tree you will write capital t 
okay let's see the picture first one is mango tree yes <laughs> it is tree so you will write capital T now the second picture is grass which has soft green stem what is it yes it is herb so you will write capital H now this is a number third one this is a picture of coriander and it it has soft green stem so what is it yes again it is herb so we will write capital H and the last picture is a picture of rose plant which which has a woody stem and bushy plant what is it yes it is shrub so S for shrub now the next one here let's acquire now children you have to read this question according to that you have to choose the correct answer okay so now let's read it my grows trees in a park near his house okay he grows trees in a park near his house and he takes care of them them means who he takes care of plants trees right what value is shown by mike so what value is shown by mike so uh, what do you think which answer is the correct one option a respect for parents option b kindness to gardener option c care for nature option d love for old people what do you think which one is the correct one yes it is option c care for nature because he is taking care of trees right so he is taking care of nature right so that is a correct answer okay now here down below children you can see the pictures of animals it look like uh, animal right so it is made by using dry leaves okay collect fallen leaves of different plants and create picture of animals as shown below if you get the uh, dry leaves if you get some dry leaves uh, means fallen leaves don't pluck the leaves then you can try this one you can create a picture of animals okay do try it and enjoy okay now that's all for today children um, keep practicing keep learning and enjoy your day till then bye take care and uh, see you soon in the next video in that video we'll learn hard words and some more some questions or question answers of lesson one types of plan okay take care